What's up, guys? We're doing a Sly Cooper episode today. First, I just want to show you my friend got the uh, Sly Cooper Thieves in Time game. I was like, awesome, because, you know, I love Sly Cooper. I have, like, all four games. And uh, so, I sent him a message. <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's not the one. I was like, uh, oh, here it is. So here's the first one. I was like, yeah, you got Thieves in Time. And he was like... He was all like... He was like, oh yeah, it was free on PS Plus. So I was like, that's cool. The slide was awesome. And he was like... And I was, I was, I read that and I was like, oh my god, they're making a Sly movie? I was so hyped. And then I saw this next one, and he was like, Ratchet and Clank movie. And I was like, oh, that's, I didn't care about Ratchet and Clank. Uh, and then he was all like, yeah. but we're doing an episode on Sly 2. He's like, will it be a musical? I'm not entirely sure what that means. So I just said this. Something about Tuesday and meatball canned. So I wasn't sure what that meant. So I just decided to type something random and weird. And uh, I'm sure he'll respond back. So. Ladies and gentlemen. Sly 2. Well, it's, it's not my favorite game. But it's pretty damn close to it. It is, it is so good. This game, when I was little, I used to play this all the time. And I swear to God, this is my favorite game back then. Yeah. It was intellectually stimulating. Everything was understandable, though. The combat was awesome. All the controls were awesome. Not just the... Everything was great. It was awesome. And I, I just hit the start button raccoon. instead of the select button. I suppose talking raccoons... It was very intellectual. I suppose it makes... Dante, it's called a fable, Dante. I, I suppose it makes the Renaissance look like Baby's First Day at Art Camp. Your face is an art camp, Dante, art and this camp. is one... I said art camp, and this is one of the greatest games ever made, okay? Alright, Tomb Raider, <laughs> screw that. Ratchet and Clegg, hell no. World of Warcraft, pfft, whatever. You make Sly I, 2. I, Sly I, 2. Sly 2. I thieves of Time, that. Honor Among Thieves, the Thievius Raccoonus. Dude. I suppose it makes Art Pop sound like freaking Gumby theme songs. I'd say, can't you just shut up and suck it and accept an awesome game and one of the greatest that just will blow your mind to little bits this is sly 2 band of thieves god damn it i hit the start button again new game good okay he's whispering Of course he is. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field. You've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So when plane talk, what's your status? So it kind of hints you in, even if you haven't played, oh, hold on a minute, it kind of hints you in on what the game is going to be like, you know, from the very beginning, because it lets you know, oh, gee, yeah, okay, uh, so, it, it's, hold on, invert, uh, a USB headset, PS2, I don't have that. You don't have a USB headset? Yes, you do. Yes, but not for the PS2. Uh, center screen. Well, what's Let's invert turret. About it. Um, let's try. 
I don't know, I never got to use to this weird inverted, like, camera. But you know what, it's, it's kind of weird, yeah, that money comes out of things that you beat the shit out of. But I kind of... I just like this game, because, I mean, it's easy to understand. Like, it tells you why you're here, okay? You're looking for the clockwork parts. Oh, gee, okay, yeah, alright. Clockwork parts, you don't know what that is what yet. What exactly are clockwork I'm, parts? Well, you'll figure that out later in the video game, stupid. <laughs> I'm just joking, Dante. Are they parts of a clock or something? They're parts of a thing that you'll find! out what it is. So, you know, you, you kind of, you know, walk around, you figure out. With? Yeah, and you look no, around, you figure out what you're supposed to be doing. No, it's a giant bird. A giant mechanical bird. Who happens to have killed your entire family. You want to make sure that that kind of thing doesn't exist again. Okay, you don't want that clockwork thingy around. Alright, that thing killed your family. You already put it into the lava once, and it apparently now it's back being taken back and built back together. Okay, so there you go. It starts off, everything's nice and simple. Okay, so you turned on your first thing of a doodle. Alright, so you beat things up, you get money. Okay, it's weird. I know it's not very logical, but you what? It's a video game. So, uh, this is Bentley. He's, like, super good with computers. He's a hacker, alright? So you already know what he does. You can tell just by looking at him. The computer is pretty weird. I mean, it's like... He's a tech freak. Yeah, I mean, his computer is just a bunch of zigzags. I'm not even sure how he can, uh, read his things on there. But, hey, whatever, you know. Rendezvous? It's rendezvous, Dante. It's French. I, I don't speak French. Well, maybe it's because you're an Italian douchebag. This inverted uh, thing, though, I want to try and, like... I kind of want to figure out how to, like, change the inverted thing. Press X. Whenever you will go up there, I guess. Maybe that? No, it's still... I don't know, I guess whenever I was a kid I was more used to things, but I really want to figure out... New volume. Speakers, surround, stereo, mono, I don't know anything about that. Surround means, like, pretty much everything around you. Mono meaning, basically, like... I don't know what it's called, but... I don't know, but, um... Stereo, I don't know, I'm gonna no, just get used to the camera as it is. Oh, look at that, you got a re little red thing. You saw that, the little red plus sign that just went up into your health, so now you know what that is, okay? You didn't even get any damage yet, but you already know what it is. Good for you, okay? So, because it goes right up to your health, you're like, oh, gee, I get it now. It's health, all right, that makes sense. I'm not some stupid kid. I'm, I'm smart. I know <laughs> whenever you have a health thing, it goes up to that thing up oh there. God, like, a sword. Oh, gee, okay. What? No yeah. sword. Yeah, I killed it. I killed the sword, Dante. You could have killed people easier with the freaking. Dante, shush. Look at, listen. Now to get access, you're gonna have to meet up with Murray at the rendezvous point. Unfortunately, the room that the guard has for the this. No problem. I'll just take the long way around. Alright, so it's pretty direct with its tutorials, you know. Things really should be more like, you know, you teach yourself, but hey, whatever, alright? A nice direct tutorial is fresh and, you know, it's simple, alright? It helps you figure out everything, you know? 
I mean, it's not like Mega Man X where, like, the controls were so simple and there were so few that you yeah, really needed to figure out that you could really just teach yourself. This game, you can't really teach yourself that, you know... Okay, X jumps, alright, cool. And then X plus square... Oh, gee, okay, so I can attack... Uh, I can jump attack. And triangle makes you do this, but you won't figure out that j X triangle makes you do this, or that X circle makes you do this. It's just that, you know, after a little bit of experimenting, you might figure that out, but, you know, you're not going to figure it out right now. But... So there you go, you finally get Murray, who is uh, really strong, apparently. All right. See, after you uh, don't get crushed under the weight of his giant fat hippopotamus belly, you, uh, you, 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 okay, so you talk. Only destruction, yeah! You know, I love, I love Murray, okay, I was like, he's fat, but he's so awesome, okay, he's, He's just so cool. But also cool. Yes, granted. Granted cool, yeah. Really, really dumb. Hey, buddy. You can let go now. Alright, I'm already through. You can let go. I'm just taking all this money, alright? I'm not, sh I'm not sharing, okay? And don't tell Bentley, all right? Because otherwise he's gonna want on it. He's gonna want in on this too, all right? So, goodbye, buddy. <laughs> Another barrier stands before you. Just chuck You're something at it. You know I how to do it. Bend it like the truth. I shall bend it like the truth. Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork part. So Murray is pretty cool. Oh yeah, he's... My hulking frame is too much for this puny robe. But I swear, he's like... The way he says it, he's just like... I am too mighty for this tiny shit. Hey, okay, so now you meet these uh, two. Yeah. So you know she's Inspector Fox. Yeah. So she is British. The claw gang? Okay, so now you get a little mysterious pointer here that it wasn't really, that it was, I mean, it's pretty obvious it wasn't you who stole the parts. to hold R1 to, you know, do the whole, uh, running thing. Oh, hold on a minute, I want this coin, I'm sorry. I like this. I like it. Okay, so, they, there are no guards, even though I saw the places, like, riddled with them earlier, but, you know, whatever, it's, it's a video game. I mean, if they started you off with too many obstacles right at the beginning, it, it just would be too hard to go through as a noob, you know? Stop, please! Stop, please! This is getting a little hot. You guys go warm up the van. I'll keep Carmelita busy. You're all going to jail. Pick me up at the rendezvous. So this is, this whole thing is kind of like, uh, Burn notice, Pick me up but with, this. like, animal characters. Back here, 
it's 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 just really good, okay? I mean I'll I'll give that These guys really know how to make uh, some good uh, effects. I mean, this is PS2. This is like an old PS2 game, not like a newer PS2 game, but this is like an older one. But it's still like really good, like as far as graphics go, because you can see like <laughs> the electricity on here is pretty cool and good, and everything is nice and solid still. The lighting's not bad, and that neat little effect there, it's, you know, it's, it's nice, everything is, I like this nice cartoony thing, Sucker Punch really knows how to do it, it's like cartoon. Everything, you know. So here's your little explanation of who he is. Cooper Clan thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. So that's metaphorical. And I wound up in an orphanage. The real clockwork is dead. I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray, the, the brawn. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Even without pants. Ago, I thought I finished it. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. See my in peace and sure, barely buttoned an and rolled. Does the clock gang even realize what they've stolen? If that's what Murray is all about. I don't know what's in my future. But I won't let it be a repeat of my past. So he really doesn't like this clockwork guy. That's that's really that's really obvious. He doesn't like him. So you know. And then you get to see a little bit of insight on who your next, uh, who your first boss is going to be in this thing. Yeah, I know what this is all about. Save. All right. So, so Clockwork is not a clock. He doesn't work on clocks. He's a yeah, but clock Clockwork refers to clock. mechanical or builds, Dante. He's just um, parking parts. Dante, I will drop. I could so drop kick you right now. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumping music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight. Like the starry eyed oh the black chateau. Oh the starry eyed thing is uh I think the that's black. the the, the one with the spider lady. Alright, so the black chateau. Uh, this is... So you can see... That, that, uh, that first, you know, little cinematic thing. It might have seemed a bit like a, like a pointless thing. You know, to give you a bunch... Well, actually, no, Dante. It, it might... 
You know, you might be like, why do I want to know this guy's backstory? Why? Why would? Why do I care? They can show them in the game guide, Phil. Or how about this? Open up a secret section in the game. It's gonna be but a real call it pleasure robbing the secrets. Or but the clues are supposed to be the secret stuff. Which, speaking of which, I remember where most of them are, where most of these at. So our first job is nice and simple. You, it's I like how everything is pretty easy to understand, and yet it's all really smart. Okay, it's like they are. It's what? I'm on my way. They are very easy to understand. Okay. Not for four-year-olds. Oh my God, Dante. Are you a four-year-old? I'm <laughs> this four-year-old game, pretty much. I beat this game when I was six. So, just like any, uh, Grand Theft, stupid, dumbass, Grand Theft Auto game will tell you, you know, if you're ever in any danger, run away. Grand Theft Auto is stupid, is I know. It's awesome. It's this stupid. Doesn't, you know, this, this, this can't steal one dollar, one penny. Are you crazy? This entire game is all about stealing things worth having. You can't steal one dog with Cheetos bum hairs. Jump and press the circle button to climb high. Right. I'm on. Yes. Cheetos butt hairs aren't worth a dollar though, Dante. So it's pretty obvious uh, at the point where, uh, you know, your uh, your health icon is flashing red and f people are throwing things at you, that uh, you're in a little bit of trouble. So now to gather some, intel some intelligence, you know, you since the satellites, you, you point the satellites over to where you are so that any information they pick up, you pick up. Oh, well, that's great. I like that idea. All right, that's pretty smart. You know, if you're going to gather some intelligence, you know, a nice step is the uh, the, the, the satellites. All right, so uh, these uh, little thingamadoodles you find here, smack them. They're called clues. They're called clues. I'm having a raging clue. I've got a raging clue. Where's your clue going? My clue is pointing this way. My clue is over there. So you already know that the blue shiny thingies represent X and circle. <laughs> Cause uh <laughs> you know that's the traditional slide game. Uh and I think there is one over there. No? No, uh, uh I was wrong. However, there is one way over here that you can get. More clues. Wait, uh uh ah. Okay, so whenever you, the little sound thingy comes up and it's like you have to sneak around, you're like, oh, geez, I want to be quiet around these douchebags. <laughs> Instead, I run right through. Boom! You know what? I'm going to save that song for whenever you finally get your wings. What wings? AKA oh, the parachute. Your parachute. And your jetpack. You never get the jetpack though, do you? Yeah, yeah you don't game. get a jetpack in this game. You get game. it in this game, and you get it in Sly 3. It's like a triple jump thing. Yeah, but that's only for uh, when Bentley he's... Bentley gets the jetpacks, yes. Yeah. But in this... He gets one that's like an but... entire like flying thing. Yeah, but Sly never gets a jetpack. Like, no, I'm saying Sly doesn't. Yeah, Sly yes. doesn't. But in this game, Bentley never gets a jetpack because he's not in the wheelchair, Dante. 
He's not in the wheelchair. He doesn't have to be in the wheelchair. But he's he doesn't it. have it. No. I know I this, this game, game Dante. Before, William. I know, and I played this game more than you. And he never had a jetpack. I don't need to. Look it up on your internet. I don't have my own internet. This is what I do with the internet, Dante. Alright, so whatever. The game already told you before. Hit the L3 button and look right. Oh, gee, look! There's my next point. Awesome. So it's like two buildings away. Alright, building one. This is a pretty long building, so hold on a minute. Building one... Oh, I'm sorry, it's just one really long extension of the building. So it's on the same building as I am. Alright, so there you go. You got the next satellite over here. And then you gotta go way over here to this next building. This camera is a little bit iffy. But other than that, this game is perfect. I love this game. So how do you know if you're in the vicinity of the guards? Well gee, maybe it's whenever your uh, little thing doodle starts to do the, you know, the weird, like, thumping. Name three slide. sly bosses. Yeah, see, look. You have to do this. Uh, three sly bosses? There's the frog guy, the Ms. Crocodile Lady, I can't remember oh what her God. name is. And then there's, what? What? I remember, Dante. Dimitri or Sean? No, Dante, 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 Dante. Those are Sly 2 bosses. Okay, this... Okay, the bosses I was talking about were Sly bosses. Well, you should... Okay, well, in... You said three Sly bosses, right? No, four. Four? Four? Alright, alright. I will do one boss from each one, okay? The frog guy. This here lizard dude, Dimitri. Uh, then in Sly 3, there was that pirate guy. The pirate rooster. Or not the pirate rooster. Uh, the, the Chinese warrior rooster guy. And then in Sly 4, the first guy you have to be is the... Uh, he's a panda. He, or, wait. Sly 4, that was a panda, right? No. Well, yes. Yeah. No, so, no. The, Sly 1 and Sly 3 each had the panda guy, but I was talking about a different panda guy. Uh, the one from Sly 4, uh, the Chinese guy you had to kill. I don't know. Uh, but there was also, like, the... Shit, was it a Yeti in that ice cart? I don't know. I haven't played much. Sure, I can too, Dante. Dimitri Rashad. Wait, Dante, Dante, first, I want to ask you, who is Rashad? Raj Jean. Tiger guy, I guess? Not the Indian tiger guy. No, Ron Jean is the, uh, the, the bison guy in the ice, in this ice and snow stage. There's like a lumberjack and he's okay. He sleeps all night and he works all night. Okay, here we go. He's, no, uh, he's uh, uh, like, I can't remember his name, but he's Raj something, yeah, but I'm pretty sure, oh no, Jean Bisson is the bison guy, that's right. So this is your first little uh, whack em up, you know, that you have to kill as many foes as possible. Look, he's actually an escort that's freaking useful. Dante! 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 You just ruined the moment for me. Look what you did. You ruined the moment. Just poop yourself already! 
So you figure out that you get some double time, that, some double jump time whenever you can. There you go, so now you figured out that you can double jump, even though I already knew that because I think he's a pig already. He is not a pig, Dante. He he is a human being. He's a hippo. Gotta be nice to the hippo. Don't call some breaking the TVs! Boom! Get some bunnies! <laughs>